Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about the US Air Force maternity uniform. Over the last few months, I have gotten questions about what size top I ordered, what size bottoms I ordered, how much is the maternity uniform clothing allowance. So I'm gonna get into all those details and hopefully this is helpful to you guys because at my specific base, they do not sell the maternity uniforms in the base exchange. I think that's pretty common actually. I don't know if a lot of the base exchanges carry the maternity uniforms. So it's not like you get the luxury of trying them on and figuring out what size you are and all of that. If it sounds like I am out of breath during this video, I am. <laughs> I am almost eight months pregnant. I am 30 weeks as of yesterday. So I've got maybe a couple months left. We will see what baby decides to do. But this is our first baby. I am active duty Air Force. My husband is active duty Marine Corps and we are expecting a baby boy in October. So yeah, now I will get into the actual details of the maternity uniform, and hopefully this is helpful to you guys because I had no clue what size to order. So in order to receive your maternity uniform allowance, there is going to be a little bit of paperwork that happens between your flight chief and your first sergeant, or maybe your supervisor. Someone is going to help you receive that allowance. So. The allowance is $395.28, and this is supposed to cover all of your uniform items so that you're not paying out of pocket for your maternity uniform. So personally, I had to switch over to the maternity pants fairly early in my pregnancy. I don't remember exactly what week. I want to say it was around like maybe 15 weeks I started wearing the maternity pants. And before that, I basically just stopped wearing my belt and left the top button unbuttoned because it was starting to get uncomfortable and I had to order those pants online and I was waiting for them. So maybe just order them sooner rather than later so that you're not uncomfortable. And obviously right now I'm just wearing the t-shirt that goes under the blouse and I'm gonna put the blouse on for you guys. It's not cute, it's not meant to be, but it is a lot more comfortable than the regular OCP top. So for the pants, I was initially going to order a small short and when I got the medium short in the mail and put them on, I was like, wow, I really could have done a small short. I had no clue how much I was going to grow because now the medium short at 30 weeks is actually getting really uncomfortable already and I still have 10 weeks to go. Granted, I will not be at work all the way up to 40 weeks, but I still have a few weeks and the third trimester is when you're going to do a lot of growing, so... I don't know if I'm gonna be ordering the next size. I don't even think it would get here in time, honestly, but I would not recommend going with the smaller size that you're considering. Probably just go up one more size because you just don't know how much you're going to grow. So right now I drive an hour to work and an hour back. So being in the car is like the most uncomfortable part of wearing the pants because there's a seam underneath the elastic waistband. The waistband is very comfortable. I haven't outgrown that at all. But the seam underneath it, like when I'm sitting down, it's very uncomfortable and it's not like I can unzip it or unbutton it. It doesn't have zippers or buttons or anything like that. So just get a bigger size or maybe like two sizes just in case so you have one to grow into. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the blouse for you guys. In the blouse, I am wearing a medium extra short. Basically, I feel like a tent when I'm wearing it, but again, it's more about comfort than how you look. So the maternity uniform does have buttons instead of a zipper, and then there's also buttons here on the side, so you can adjust it depending on what part of pregnancy you're in. And I'm just gonna move back so you guys can see how great this looks on me. <laughs> so I have not personally gone up a size in the t-shirts, although I definitely could now. They have gotten so tight just the last two weeks. Again, I'm at that point where I'm like, can I make it a few more weeks? Do I wanna go buy new shirts in a bigger size? I might have to, but for now, I'm pretty sure I'm still wearing a small in the t-shirts, but I will back up and show you guys what the t-shirt looks like and the pants. As for the length for medium short, I am 5'3", and the medium length is perfect on me. Everything honestly fits well besides that seam right underneath the elastic waistband that I was talking about. And then this is what the elastic waistband actually looks like. Again, super comfortable besides that seam right underneath it. 
So I did wear my regular Nike uniform boots up until I was six months pregnant. And then my hands started to swell. I had to take off my wedding ring and switch it out for a silicone one. And I also was not comfortable at all in my boots anymore. I did start wearing athletic shoes and this is what they look like. They're just plain black. Also, the back of this one did break the other day when Bradley was trying to help me put it on. But that's okay. Again, I only have a few more weeks, so we're gonna make it work. But yeah, my feet were getting really swollen, like wearing boots all day, so now I wear sneakers. <laughs> I'm a sneaker weaker again. So basically, I wear a medium extra short in the top right now, and I'm wearing a medium short in the pants. I am 5'3", and prior to becoming pregnant, I weighed about 125, 130. As always, I hope this video was helpful, and if you are pregnant, then I wish you a smooth delivery, a healthy baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.